has a very fuzzy image. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, I'm alive. Okay. Yay. Wow, I'm washed out in light. Uh, let's do that. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, Chris here, and uh, welcome back to my workbench and my entire apartment. Anyways, I got. This is my first live stream in a little bit. And so I'm going to cover a uh, lighting installing. And maybe some other stuff too. This is the uh, lighting kit here. The easy peasy passenger car lighting kit made by Rapido Trains. This is cool stuff. This is easy to install. Anybody could install this. This cost me fourteen forty nine at the hobby shop. You could probably find it cheaper online. Get a couple pieces of track here set up. I've already installed it in one passenger car. Actually, in my car, I installed one of these kits in like two minutes. But, uh... <coughs> Here is the car that I installed it in, too. This is a, uh, a Bud, a five-foot Bud coach. Let's turn that light off. There we go. That's a little better. <clears throat> Actually, let's turn that up that way and turn it on. So, uh, yeah. So this is an 85-foot Bud passenger car coach. I've installed it already into this. What, hap what you come comes with inside the box is, or in the little package, it comes with the strip, two batteries, I've already installed it into here, and your little magic wand. Every kit comes with a magic wand, so I have two here right now. Then I have a couple more kits to install later on. But here's the kit. You have... Two little batteries here. You have your LEDs on, mounted to it. And this little glass vial right here. That is the reed switch. When you hold the magic wand near it. The light turns on. And off. That's how you turn on the on off the lights. Uh, Repito says these batteries should last you about a year. Depending on how much usage you use them. You get with them. They are... LR41 cells, probably pretty cheap. Let me actually look it up and see how much they cost. LR41 battery. For a 10 pack of them is $2 on Amazon. I know for a 413 for the package of them for this package and then from a, another brand I haven't even heard of oh that's AG3 never mind or it could be LR41 uh, LR41W but uh yeah about four dollars for a pack of ten of them that's cheap so anyways, let me put the car that I've already installed it into on the track. I just bought this car today, like a couple hours ago. I can't tell how well you could see it, but there it is. And I installed it, this ridge in this end by the vestibule end. And it should just, oh, can be finicky, but there we go. Lights on. Let's actually turn off that light there. So maybe you can see it better. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, but it's lit up. So let's get to installing one of these. It's very simple, like a minute or two, and it's in. Easy. Let's do it. So I'm going to set this car aside. I went to uh, the hobby shop today, and it's like... Gave it to Temptations. <laughs> I will show you what I bought in a little bit. But I have here a uh, 
So Walther's HO scale, Pullman standard, uh, play on 4140, 10-6 sleeper car. This is in Penn Central. Bought this a couple of years ago at a train show for $15. Really good price. Especially for a good Walther's car. So here it is. Now how you get the roof off is uh, pretty simple. You just take the car and you twist it back and forth just a little bit. Careful doing this though. I just twist and the and then the roof should pop off. Unless this is a different style. No, it is not. It's same style as the other one. Just twist the car until you get the roof to pop off. Now I like installing or uh, eh. come on. Okay, so this might be a little difficult, a little tricky. This is what how what the uh, things the paper says that came from Walters. I kid you not to grab the car and twist it. Literally, this is what it says to do. This one actually twists is actually flexible enough to do it a little bit. I guess. It all depends on the car, I guess. The style. If it's a Bud smooth side, or a Pullman smooth side, or a Bud uh, corrugated. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so I got the roof off. And you can see into the car here. Now, the lighting strip here, I've got to put the end with the reed switch to the end with the vestibule. And how I just do it is I just set it in there. Now on this car, there was in a, the uh, bathrooms here, it actually fit, the batteries fit perfectly into that. But on this one you have a corridor to have to work around. So I might have to... Uh, do some trimming, or you could just let it be loose in there if you want to, or you could tape it to the roof. That works too. The repeater recommends using double-sided tape to do that, but I don't have double-sided tape. I don't even know if I have regular tape, although I might. I don't want to super glue it. Yeah, no double, no regular tape, but I have electrical tape, which I don't want to use because of goopy and... Oh, there's tape. So I have some regular scotch tape. Let's trim off the end there. It's in the trash. So you can either tape it to the roof, which the roof is an odd shape because it's curved. Or do what I've been doing is have it upside down, like or put it in like that, facing down. Although it might be a good idea to have the uh, like some reflective tape on the top on the roof, and maybe mount it upside down even. So it would uh, actually get through all the windows. Because you have the core, the individual rooms, each bedroom, then you have the roomettes, and then you have the hallways, which the hallways would be always lit. And then some bedrooms there with the lights would be off, some would be on. So you know what? I'm going to do something a little different. Because this is a sleeping car, not every bedroom is going to have a light on inside. 
So you know what? I'm actually going to use some electrical tape. And I'm going to put tape over some of these bedrooms to block the light. Just so we don't have every single room lit. That'd be realistic. So I just need something to cut on. A little cutting board, I guess. I don't want to mark up my thing too much. Um, let's do it in the, with the packaging that the kit came with. Set aside the electrical tape here, or the regular scotch tape. The last time I just pulled and just going to set this tape down. The knife here, trim. So all this is like stretched out and because I, oh, well, this isn't going to work very good because it's paper. Okay, so we're going with the table. Or do I have plastic? No, I don't. Hmm. Uh, I can use this. All right. So now, if it was just a coach, I wouldn't be doing this to block light like the coach I installed it in. Because I, coaches, you don't have individual rooms to be able to turn it off with or turn off in. I'm going to me take and measure one of these rooms, and it's about three quarters, it's three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to go. About one inch. Or do I want to go one inch? Yeah, let's go five eighths of an inch. Now, of course, it's hard for me to see with the lighting like this, so kind of hard with using a camera like this. So go three quarter or five eighths of an inch. Then I'm going to just take the tape and stick it on there. Get a good little seal so I don't get light come passing through. So that's a little bit differently. Like that. I'm just going to use the wand to take and seal it. So there we go, we have one bedroom blocked off. I guess I could use these popsicle sticks instead, but eh, oh well. Again, another one five eighths of an inch. So actually just block off this one this time. I guess I could have gone one inch for this one. That's okay though. Actually, yeah, let's go one full inch on this one. There's more material there I could stick it to instead of being on an end bedroom or a roomette. Actually, go with this one right here. So, anyways, I like Rapido's stuff. Rapido is a good manufacturer of trains. Makes some pretty good stuff. 
Very high quality trains. Very beautiful looking trains. Oh my goodness. I mean, what they've come out with with the dining cars. Ooh, those are nice. Every single table has plates on it. It's like, what? You're crazy doing that. Going into that much detail as to have plates on the tables and the right color uh, tablecloths and seats and everything. It's like, wow. I have a couple, two locomotives from Rapido. One's a cabbage car and which I've done a review on here, I think. And one's a modernized F40. They are really good locomotives. They run beautifully. Sound absolutely fantastic. And they look, oh, so beautiful. Great looking locomotives. All right, so I want this other one here. Blocked off. There we go. And yeah, I guess that's all those ones I want. Uh, let's take a look at these other bedrooms here. Now, these ones are about a that wide. Wait, what was I saying with five eighths of an inch? That's Seven eighths of an inch. Now these are three, five eighths wide. Okay, so that's perfect. That's fine. And like this, there. Yeah, inch. Use the same size. So this is the tedious. The only part that's tedious. If you want realism, you want to block off bedrooms, you have to block off the light going into them. Okay, so this bedroom right here, let's go ahead and block that one off. Of course, there might be a little bit of light that pa will pass through, but hey, that's not too bad of a thing. Sometimes you have like a little night light, or a, not night light, but a, a lamp on instead of the full bright lights. These are harder because their walls are thinner here in the... Uh, Roomettes. Roomettes have a little more space in between each one. Okay, so I wanted that one blocked off. Let's go block off this one. And another piece. And oh, this piece is going to need a little bit more because this one might be a drawing room. Uh, no, it's uh, 10, 6, oh, 10, and then 6. So 10 roomettes, 6 bedrooms. It's going to need a little piece. Just finish off the odd shape of that room. There, like that. And 
There we go. Yeah, I think that's enough. I'm quite happy with that. So now, the lighting kit. Go in. Now I'm going to take and turn it on. It's not too bad from that side. Although the walls, you can... Mm. Yeah, the walls are a little bit opaque. Wondering how it would look with it if it was upside down. Not too good. Yeah, if I had reflective tape, that might look better. So yeah, we're going to put it in right there. And we're just going to put the uh, roof back on. Make sure I'm putting it on the right way. Okay, so we might have a problem with the batteries being a little on the big side. Oh, wait, no. Just because the wall is... Not going in properly. Oops. There we go. I've never taken this car apart before, so it's kind of learning how the car goes back together. Alright, there we go. It's kind of blocking off the light in some of, some of the rooms, but not too awful bad. So now we're going to just... Nice! It works. Put my knife blade away. Put that away. Now I don't know if you can trim these light boards doesn't say on it on the packaging if you can or not but it doesn't look like you can because the read switch is at the end and the batteries are on the other end now if the ba the read switch is on the end with the batteries then it might be make a difference but it doesn't look like you can trim it down at all to be able to fit a anything fit it in better. Okay, so anyways, that's the lighting install. Now, I have two cars with lights in HO scale. Put my other one on here, here on the tracks. It's the first time that this car's been really on the track and coupled Together. So there we have it. <laughs> Two lighting kits installed. I like these cars and these light kits. Now for another install in another car. This one doesn't have an interior at all to it. So it would almost be pointless putting one in. But I plan on buying a little interior kit for this dining car. So a roundhouse. Bathroom roundhouse.
that, but there's a little difference with different thing with this one. This car is shorter, and the ends and the HO scale light kit will not fit. So I bought an N scale one to install into it. Here's the HO version in the car. Just a little too long. I don't know if you could trim them or not, but I'm just going to install the N scale version. Which is just fine. Now the thing with this dining car is there is no vestibule to it. Because dining cars don't have vestibules. Neither do parlor cars or dome cars or anything else like that. So I'm going to put it on the end with the handbrake. Handbrake is the end of the car. That's also normally where the vestibule is if it's a streamlined car with only one vestibule on each car. So I'm going to put it on the B end where the handbrake is. Now this car is different because it's made by a different manufacturer. This is an Atherin roundhouse. So the walls are a little different. Everything's a little bit different. It just comes apart like that. Now the handbrake's on this end. Conveniently enough, there's a door for the kitchen on that end as well. So that's where I'm going to put this kit. Now on this one, I'm actually going to put double, just regular tape looped together to be able to fit it. Now in the packaging, I don't know if I uh, explain what it's in the packaging. You get the wand, the uh, light kit, and then two batteries for it. It takes two of these batteries. So you get your first batteries in with it, which is nice. And these batteries are still the same ones. The uh, LR41s. Okay, so this is different. The reed switch is in the middle. On the end scale version instead of on the ends. Alright, so you install the batteries. The uh, little... negative side, that's this side with the little circle thing, goes down, and it's already on for me. So, ah, get my wands. I got a bunch of these now. So this one I'm actually going to tape. Oh, you can if you bang the car it turns on and off too. So I'm going to take and just roll tape into loops or curls. I'm going to stick it under on the underside. Help me make a smaller loop. Just did this. Yeah. Go. Nope. Okay, oh, yeah, that didn't help. Put it right 
here. Then which one? That's the end. I'm gonna put it in the middle. Just like that. And put the car back together. Simple, easy, peasy. Ta-da! Although I probably will buy one of the Rapido dining cars later on anyways. So, you might have noticed I have different paint schemes of cars. That's because I bought something for these this rainbow train. If you already haven't gotten the hint by now of rainbow train. I bought a pair of FP7s today as well. Amtrak Phase 1. And I'm making the a rainbow train. Using them. So, I have the dining car, I have a baggage car, I got a coach, I got three sleepers. That's all I need for right now. So, yes, yeah, so there you have it. Easy to do. Oh, I want to mark on the package that I have light kit switch in the center and repeat light just so I know is, hey, stupid, these have lights in them. Maybe I should keep one of these. Yeah, I'm going to keep one of these in each package with each car. Or should I? Eh. Nah. Okay, so this one is for this car. I know this is not. This one is for this one. Anyways, more stuff to talk about is I got a new job. Thus, able to afford trains. Well, rent and trains and other stuff. Rent, trains, food, gas, bills, trains. But, anyways, I got a new job as a conductor on a railroad. I work on a Patriot Rail Railroad. And, uh, well, tomorrow night I get certified. And then I'm on my own as the night shift conductor. We only run one train during the day, one train at night. And that's it. That's the entire railroad. About a mile end to end on the main line. But anyways, so yeah, I work on the Sacramento Valley Railroad in McClellan Park, California. Nice little railroad. I like it. Hey, it's pretty good. Not too bad. But anyways, railroading is not as easy as you think it is. I'll make a video on railroading later. On how easy is railroading, tips from a new hire if you're just starting out.
So anyways, I'm going to eventually end up doing a little video on, okay, how is railroading? How easy is it? How hard or hard is it? What to know when starting out on a railroad? And stuff like that. So, anyways, that's all I have for this video. Got three little light sticks, magic wands. <laughs> Come with every light kit comes with one. I'm gonna have so many of these. Got yeah, like five of them. Is it five? Yeah, five. Or now four have three cars already with that I'm putting one in. Have that other one that I put one in. And then the one that I did on video. Or the two that I did on video. Yeah, four. Or is it five? I don't know. It's my day off. I don't have to think too much. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.